Hey y'all, it's your girl Jada May, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video is really just to like catch you up on some stuff, so we're gonna play that intro and we're gonna get into the video. Click. Of course I'll be pushing they buttons. I, I hold up control like the gamers. Like God, keep it a stack. Bitches is acid, we keeping it crack. Bad little redhead, she about to black. We come out, it's a movie, but we don't do that. Live from London, straight from the palace. Manda Magalis, I touch us like Dallas. Keep it a bean, yo. He talk nice cause the pussy game me, how? Y'all, it's been a minute. Well, three months in exact. It's been. I feel like three months. No, three months. Three months is, is a long time. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome to the Jenny May fam. I really don't have like a name for us. I was thinking about saying like, oh, we could call each other like May babies, but I was like, I don't like that. So, just welcome to the Jenny May fam. So we left off like in February and I posted that February 11th. I celebrated my best friend's like 25th birthday. I'm back home in Miami and we had a great time. And then after that, it was like, okay, we gotta get to the degree. Like in March, I celebrated my birthday. Now, I don't know about y'all. I'm a Pisces. Yes, some of the allegations are true. Like we are kind of emotional, but I I'm a person that get really bad birthday blues and like this year I had really bad birthday blues mind you I was you could say that I was going through some stuff like I had to move as you can see like my background is completely different um so yes we are no longer in the apartment I was kind of sad to like if you see me like keep reaching over here I'm trying to Keep my phone from blinking out yeah we moved out from the apartment so i'm in a completely new space i do have roommates now so which is a completely different because you know i've had my that was my first apartment we had it for like i keep saying we but you see you see how i care about y'all see how i care about y'all i had it for like two years and it was just getting to a point where i was like okay i'm not able to like do some of the things that I need to do and I won't you know talk too much about it because um yeah it's like it's a certain personal but I'm just letting y'all in a little bit but it was just time to go it, it really was just time to go um and it was honestly I was so surprised by how emotional it was for me maybe because it was like my first apartment like something that I just did on my own and everything like moving to Orlando and stuff so it was just really emotional trying to move like pack and all this other stuff which I did record um am I gonna release that vlog most likely and that's probably gonna be the last vlog but I know I know <sighs> yes that's probably gonna be the last vlog for now but I will touch back on that a little bit later in the video so yes we moved out of the vlog um we moved out i moved in here i would say like march 1st now, i've been here for like a good three months and honestly i feel like i'm just now getting settled in for real for real so that's why i feel so comfortable to like come back on camera and just like record again um which i'm very happy about because i was like I i'm ready to come back i'm ready to come back did y'all peep do y'all see the subscriber count we made it to 100 subscribers. <laughs> we made it to 100 subscribers on April 3rd. And when I tell y'all, I'm so happy. When I tell you, being proud is such a, like, an understatement. Because, like, if you see my other video, like, um, things I'm learning as, like, a small YouTube creator, I do touch on the fact that, like, when i initially came on youtube like y'all know like if you know you know like this is a dream of mine um to be on youtube and just make it to 100 subscribers just like oh my god like 100 people tuned into my channel even though for some people may feel like girl it's only 100 subscribers but that's 100 people that you know that were very interested in my channel and what i have to offer and i just think it's a really big deal so thank you and thank you so much um I do not take y'all support for granted. Please know that. And we will be having more videos, okay? But it has to be made to 100 subscribers. And if you don't, please follow me on my IG. I do post a, 
I post more on IG. And that's another thing. I feel like I need to post more IG just so I can get my social media presence up a bit. And what's crazy is that I was trying to like avoid it because sometimes IG can be so like judgmental and be such a dark place. But honestly, I feel like I, I feel like it's a mind thing. Like I have to get out of that. But yes, I really want to build my social media presence more on IG. So yeah, like if you don't follow me already, follow me on IG. I do have all my social media handles like in the description down below. Um, just like a quick link and go ahead and follow boo, okay? okay? So yeah, I did move out of moved out of the apartment. We moved here March first. March third is my birthday. So as you can see, moving it and trying to think about my birthday like honestly i really was not trying to, i was not thinking about my birthday at all oh i'm thirsty do y'all see my cup i found this in march this is so cute a movie and my birthday like i really was not thinking about my birthday at, at all and that's what really triggered the birthday blues so i was like oh my god like you know and i'm and i just turned 25 and you know 25 is such a like it's one of those milestones like you know it's one of those like important ages like you know your frontal lobe develop and everything like that so it's just like what am I gonna do for my 25th and you know I was downplaying it like you know I'm not gonna do anything da, da, da. and then it hit me like oh my god I'm not doing anything for my 25th birthday so I was just real sad and I was like you know what literally the day of my birthday or the day before I literally said, I was like, you know what? I'm going to drive to Atlanta. Now, I live in Orlando. Atlanta is six hours away from here. Six hours away. So, I packed all my stuff, which I did record that as well. Um, I packed all my stuff and I drove to Atlanta. And when I tell you that was one of the best birthdays that I've ever had, like, I did it all by myself like I was on my own time and it was such a real a relaxed trip like it was such a relaxed trip and I stayed at a five-star hotel baby okay period I stayed at the Waldorf Astoria in Atlanta Buckhead and when I tell you it was so beautiful now nah, it was expensive but it was so beautiful I went to Atlanta for my birthday and it was great like I even post about that on my IG um talking about my experience there and how I felt it was just really nice and I felt I got so much love from people that follow me on my IG like I was so happy I was like oh my goodness like thank y'all so much you know sometimes you don't really think about like um sometimes you don't feel like people are watching you or anything like when you feel like nobody's watching you they are like they really are and you got people that just support you like behind closed doors and and everything and that's how I felt for like my birthday like oh my god like I really did not expect this many people to wish me a happy birthday and tell me like and just send me beautiful messages so I was very emotional of course <laughs> I was very emotional and thankful to have people that that wish me well on my birthday um but yes like i had grand old that <laughs> going back to what i said earlier about moving away from saying that that's gonna be my last vlog i probably will post two more vlogs so my moving out vlog and my birthday vlog i will post like you know a couple more vlogs but other than that is it, i'm not trying to do any more vlogs for the moment i haven't been recording taking my camera out lately for real for real um only because i really want to step away from vlogs and i will explain that so i noticed like on youtube that it's a lot of people that do vlogs on on here and it's like I miss, you know, the makeup, the makeup tutorials. I, I love the tutorials. I like to come on YouTube and I like to learn, you know. Sometimes I do like to watch vlogs here and there, but when it's like that's all there's to offer, it's like it it just becomes too much. And I'm just like, okay, I'm not even in tune with it anymore. And I noticed that people they you know, some you know, whatever works for y'all anybody that's watching it and you are creating and you produce nothing but vlogs 
that's on you but for me i'm a watcher and creator it's just that i don't want to create something that i know that i, I don't I, i'm I don't really care for it anymore if that makes any sense or that I don't really pay attention to as much because I notice like whenever I'm watching vlogs it take me a minute to finish them like it take me a couple of days because the vlogs be like an hour and I'm like this is a movie I, I, I didn't sign up for a movie you know I would say a good vlog for me because after a while it becomes repetitive I would say a good 25 minute vlog is long enough in my opinion I'm good like a good up to like 30 minutes 30 minutes and less that's a great vlog that's a great vlog in my opinion I just feel like it's a lot going on even though I think my I don't really have any long long vlogs right now because I really like to just get to the point for real for real and not drag it out no shade but yeah like I feel like for longer vlogs my max is like 30 minutes and that's all you're getting from me to be honest but other than that like I just really want to step away from vlogs I do feel like it takes a longer time to like get them out and produce because it's not like I work a 9 to 5 so I'm not vlogging every day and I don't feel like my life is interesting right now to where I can vlog every day wholeheartedly just being honest no I'm not I'm not vlogging every day like I will burn myself out every other day you know if I'm going on a trip and everything that's most likely when I'm going to vlog when is something interesting going on then I will take you guys with me and do a trip or something whenever I'm hanging with my friends or if I'm going back home or whatnot that's most likely when you're gonna get the vlog I do feel like I kind of found my niche which I can say and it is makeup vlogs and I'm y'all probably like duh that's probably what you say in, in the beginning you know i was as you can look through my page i don't have too many videos up and i started off with vlogs you know of course watching everybody else on youtube post the vlogs and me having that like realization like jada you initially did not come to youtube to be a vlogger you came to be you know to do makeup tutorials and do hair tutorials and talk about wigs and all this stuff that's what I'm here for just saying so every now and then I'll give y'all a vlog but for right now we're sticking to the makeup tutorials and I don't see too many makeup tutorials on this on this platform anymore like how I did um in like 2016 because y'all know 2016 was like the peak of YouTube for beauty influencers but that's just something that I want to do um hopefully you know I hope y'all good with that I hope y'all get it if y'all not I'm sorry it's like it's really just gonna be a makeup hair tutorial so it's like I'm gonna be your beauty influencer to be honest neither here to say we are gonna be stepping away from vlogs more tutorials makeup and hair tutorials will be in effect okay after those vlogs and that's practically it so yes thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um this was just a little life update but yes if you're not subscribed to jane may then you're just jealous babe you see what i did there it'll stick but <laughs> but yes thank you so much for watching this video and i'll talk to y'all soon bye